Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. After Dark. And it's even a special one. Actually, I have to put the After Dark on. I was on. just going to say. Yeah. Where is it? There is the sign. Oh. Boom. After Dark. Um, oh, and I have to change the light, too. Boom. There. Now it's, now it's true After Dark. Uh, this is a special After Dark where we're going to be playing old school 2600 games not homebrew so it is uh a, it's like zero, zero page, page classic I'm, that's what i put up there zero page classic. it's zero stage studio <laughs> brew <Yes. laughs> no brewing <laughs> professional brew professional brew um so today is the day two of us going through every single atari 2600 game ever put out between 1977 and 1992, the original run. Last time we did 1977 to 79. Today we're doing 1980. And this is when uh, Activision came into being. And the third party first. Were they like ex Atari employees? Yeah, it's an uh. interesting story. They go for a raise. Uh, they say, hey, you made a lot of money on our games, like millions of dollars. We're being paid just kind of normal wages. We would like some royalty because our games made you millions of dollars. Yeah. And they're like, nah, you're just workers. You're just like the person who puts the game in the box on the assembly line. You just do work and you're here to work. And they go, bye. <laughs> we know how to make these games. We're going to go make them somewhere else. And so they started up Activision. Atari sued them, saying, hey, you can't just make games for our system. That's our system. Only yeah. we can make games and for our system. And what's interesting is, like, I want to laugh at that. But really, like, until it was determined, who knows? I mean, yeah. Can, it, yeah. It, and, and then that begat Nintendo, after the crash, putting in these chips that you couldn't put the chip in the chip was the proprietary thing so if you made if you put this chip in your your cartridge that bypassed their security that was the thing you got in trouble not for making the game they can't say you can't make games but you can you can't bypass our security that was the thing people got sued for bypassing so, the, I, why is that it's encryption it's it's but what if you're not what if you're what if if you're not unencrypting it what if you're just like you can't it, alternate it, encrypting it. <laughs> <laughs> they they did find a way to bypass it oh okay like <laughs> and, legally um or no yes le le yes legally yeah and and they did it a different way that makes sense to me that's yeah. this is what i was i was like what if you don't it, like they if you don't use their thing yeah that exactly. they use to unencrypt or yeah. bypass you're fine yeah and and that's how People are able to make things by not copying other people because they didn't use their way of doing it. They created a whole new, different way of doing mm -hmm. it. Uh, the Nintendo logo. That also was... Nintendo also did that with um, uh, trademark. or um, is it tr Yeah, the trademark. You're not allowed to put Nintendo on your game as well. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, that's Because, you know, okay. Nintendo didn't endorse it. It's not a Nintendo. So they, they made it look like Nintendo cartridge. It, it's obvious for it's a Nintendo cartridge. Oh, I'm sure that you could v verbally say that it works on the Nintendo. Compatible with Nintendo. Compatible with Nintendo. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't but use not their endorsed. logo. not endorsed. Yeah, you can't use yeah, their yeah. logo. No quality seal. Anyway. Um... I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and make this possible. They're scrolling gently down beside Darcy. Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari is Maximus, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Burr Alive, Charles Don... Chelsea Donnie Mao, I always mess up with that. Charles the Check, Charles Whelan, Colonel Lama, Dionoy, Daryl, 1970, Dr. Mookows, Fox Mother, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger, Rapper, Johnny, uh, Nitro, Johnny WC, 
Oh, I'll read that after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh, Kibuto sorry, yeah. JRM. Carl J. I thought it was like, ah, they can't no, hear us. No, sorry. Uh, no, Ken, I, was being, I was misbehaving. <laughs> Ken Jennings, Invader, Krev, Kelly Crocco, Lauren TDZ, Mark Rianis, Mark Facing, Melitar, McMews, Mike Soul, Mike Lutel, Miss Command, MK Swiss, Miss Jarn, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Funny Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Koag, Archie Antwitz, R. Antwitz, R. 70, Renner Ghost, Rouse VG, Ricardo Pitt, Mark Caster, Six Sweets, Smitty B. Spice, R. S. Ramirez, Adi Trin, Walsh, Manny 9, Tiki Dan, KTM, Evans, Direct MD, X, Ken X, and subscribers that subscribe recently Dan ABC Drexel and Al Nefer. Thank you special to them for renewing. Thank you. Their subscriptions. You want to support the show? It is free. Just hit subscribe. It's free with, uh, with Prime. Amazon Prime. Yep. It's not if you don't have that. You pay through the nose. You yep. will pay. Through the nose. Through the nose. Ah, oh, and that hurts. Yeah. Um, it's a, uh, Alan Fur says the logo was needed in the binary but it was trademarked. Oh, oh I didn't know that part. I'll How was it needed? Up. It probably checks a certain part of the binary. It says, are you there? Uh -huh. And if it's not there, it goes, you can't run. And since it says Nintendo, you can't just put Nintendo because that's a name. It's a trademark. Uh, they would have to do it. You could do it like a perspective <laughs> thing where you check. You, they find out the order they check and then just put pixels in that order. Even the 7800 at a lockout, unless and your cartridge them. matches the checksum, the console booted to 2600 mode. Interesting. I didn't know about that one. Or the logo needed in the binary. I'll have to check on both of those after and see how those were bypassed. Um, the, the, the thing about it is that whenever you hear this stuff, I always think, like, what are you fighting against? Like the 1983-84 crash was a big one um, because the whole video game market in North America, at least, crashed for consoles because people were putting out tons and tons of shovelware on the 2600 and markets were flooded. And back then it was not really easy to determine what was good and what was bad. Uh. And so there were too many. It was diluted. They, everyone had to drop their price. People were dismayed with the quality. There was a bunch of factors, and it just destroyed the market. And yeah, not it was like, they just weren't prepared for it. But like, for instance, yeah. if they had instead of saying you can't make games, if instead they said you can't put the Atari-approved logo on it unless we approve of the quality, that's then... what Nintendo did with the quality of the quality seal of approval. And they also limited the number of games Sorry, per but year. But did they, did they apply those to non-Atari games? Well, this, this is what Nintendo. I'm saying. It's Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, sorry, Nintendo. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. No, 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 because yeah. you weren't able to make yeah, them yeah. unless you went through them. Yeah, yeah. They also limited the number of games each company could make per year. It's like you couldn't just flood it. You had, I, I can't remember what it was, six. Six per year. But companies went around that by making sub companies yeah yeah and they just went oh look at this it's yeah. a new company six more for us yay after dark without tanyan kitties that is true have you been on an after you've been on an after yeah, dark yeah. just not very often it's super rare yeah yeah because they're usually in after the, dark in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know it, it's just a name it's dark somewhere <laughs> it's always after 5 p.m somewhere um, anyways I, I guess my point is that like just saying no to quality games on your yeah. system just seems like, like now. I mean, I'm I, there, I'm sure there are times when the the, I believe it's normal now that like when a, a company puts out a system, they're like, how do we attract you know developers that like make the good games for our system? Yeah. You know, yeah. there's still gatekeeping. You can't yeah. just put anything out on a PS4. But there are different or, types of gatekeeping. Or PS5. Yeah. Like trying to stop people from being able to run something on your system That's is one different. way yeah. and another way of just saying oh well you know you have to you have to qualify yeah. you have to follow all this stuff you have to get to be approved and get the, the seal of approval that's another one you know yeah. like, and one that is still like... works like i'm telling you well like when dungeons and dragons when they did d20 it was open source and so mm. anybody could make systems and their thought which makes sense is that they would make the rules and the core stuff and then people would make right. adventures and worlds and things like this yeah but what sold the best was all that crunchy bit all the rules and supplements and what have you <laughs> right. and not actually the the, the, the the adventure worlds and stuff like that and i mean those sold too but the hardcores made up their own 
yeah, made up their own yeah, adventures. Exactly. The casual players like, oh, I want to start. I'll buy a module. Yeah, yeah. It's set up for me, and that'll get people started. It just wasn't an, like it, the concentration was on people wanting those special rules and what have you. Yeah. And the problem was that because it was open source, you would get these supplements from companies, and they would just be like super overpowered feats <laughs> and all this stuff. Okay. And yeah. uh, anyways. Okay. So the rules are we play each game for five minutes. Otherwise, we're here for years. Years. <laughs> like like literally, if we made it 20 minutes a game, we're here for years. <laughs> meow. Hey, Jakku Kazero. <laughs> we, have do, we have two meows here. One is a black meow, which you can't really see. He's hidden behind the chat. It's very small right now. The other one is just... Also, he's licking his no-nos, so... <laughs> out of range. I think you can see his tail. You can see his tail just in the corner. Um, so five minutes a game, we do them in order of release. Like I hunted down the, <gasps> I hunted down the um, the release dates from website, and so these are the actual release dates into the store. So we're going to do them in order of release date because that's awesome. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, oh, what was first? What was the landscape like in 1980? And yeah. seeing the progression of quality of the games, too. It's like, oh, look what they did in that game. We can improve on that. We can improve on that. We can use that trick and do it there. It's our chance to become famous. <laughs> it is. We're already famous. All of us. Um, so, let's get it started. The first game is Space Invaders, which was a huge system seller. 1980 was really the kickoff for the Atari 2600 because that was a huge game in the arcades. So Space Invaders came out March 15th, 1980. It was made by Rick Maurer. Uh, it's also known as, well, it was a, there was a hack made of it called Pepsi Invaders Coke Wins. But we'll probably be playing that because it's an actual different cartridge later on. Uh, with cartridges, no extra time navigating the multi-cart menus. Yeah, it does speed it up. So, the timer is on the clock. Five minutes. We have some cartridges for most of them, except for three of them. Um, and I have them starred. The ones we don't have cartridges for. Dr uh, no, I do have dragster. It's up there. Uh, fishing derby and video checkers. I think that's the only ones I don't have. So let's get dragster out. I'm surprised I don't have Fishing Derby. That is very strange. Where in the order is Dragster? It's probably way down. Dragster <laughs> under Circus Atari. So I've stacked them all up here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I'll do it in two stacks. There we go. Perfect. I don't know what that... <laughs> it kind of gets in the way. It's in the way, yeah. Yeah, you are correct. So we'll do it like that. It'll, it'll just get smaller and smaller. Crazy 3D stack. Okay, so we don't need this much. So we're going to do Space Invaders. Is everybody ready? Are you ready to rock, Billy? Are you I ready to rock? Green light, daddy, oh! Okay, there you go. It's black and white Space Invaders. Because I have them on black and white. Oh, that's still not going to work. Let's move it over here. How do you shoot? You can't, until I start it. There you go. Oh, okay. But it was letting me move. Yeah, it's kind of cool in the Space Invaders. You can move when it's on demo mode. And we're going to try and play a couple variations each within the five minutes. Oh, let's get it started. Start that five minute clock. And when the buzzer goes off, we turn it off and exchange the game. So like I said, this is, we came out on March 15th, 1980, uh -oh. by Rick Maurer. Maurer, Maurer. Maurer. You are famous, just within a very specific community. <laughs> I don't want to be more famous. Uh-oh. Fine. Uh-oh. Your shields are gone. I know, and it's my fault. Oh, because you didn't shoot the lower ones? I was yeah. trying to get them, but my shields were in the way. <laughs> some The shields are good and bad. They're good because they can protect you from some shots, but they're also bad because they protect them from your shots too. You can't hide beneath I them. remember, I remember, and you know, this is not like uh, fancy or anything, but I do remember. I 
I remember that uh, What do you remember? <laughs> uh, this. Uh, the uh, the shooting through and being like, bow, 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 bow. oh, that is very safe. Like, but you can only get certain numbers of them. It's so my tactic in this game. We only have five is minutes. Is to shoot. <laughs> oh, it's fine if I don't play. It's fine. Is shoot the lower ones so that you can kind of. Yeah, that was my that was my intent, and I and I and I, then, I had that plan, but then I just. And then you shoot. Oh my god! There, I got it. Then you shoot the ends because then they go down slower. Because as soon as they damn it, hit a wall. I have to get this guy. Yeah, I was like, um. Here, get that guy. So it's it's kind of a trade off. It's a it's a trade off because yeah. they don't go as fast when they're, or I thought they didn't. It's it's based on how many are left. Is like, the speed oh, okay? I and thought it was based on how wide the uh, how wide the thing was. He's hooked. He's hooked. His brain is cooked on space invaders. <laughs> there you go. Power uh -oh. on space invaders. Has the uh -oh. reset key for bonus laser. Oh, let's try that. There you go. You have a bonus laser. But we're gonna go to a variation. There you go. So you should have two laser, <laughs> two lasers now. The good thing about these early games is they had so many variations. Like this, I think is like a hundred. Is it like extra hard now? Yeah, because they're wobbly. The uh, their shots are wobbly. Yeah. The. There you go. Try that one. Uh, the shields were moving. Now they're invisible. Yeah, yeah. So there's lots of variations if you got really, really good at the game. So there's there's plenty more. Play all 100 variations. Maybe one day. <laughs> but today, today is not that day. Maybe on the 60th anniversary of Space Invaders. Oh, which is only in eight years. <laughs> this is actually a very good version for the home console. Like, it Where's the extra laser? What is that? I don't know. It didn't work. I powered it on with the reset. I think you have... To, it doesn't always work. You have to fry it uh -oh. sometimes. Game 33 is two-player co-op. Oh, let's go to game 33. Is it an invisible game? Is it an invisible co-op? No, this is like That's the good. first variation. Of that, was, that was too hard for me. <laughs> I don't know if you realized or noticed, but... Yeah, <laughs> that one, fine. that invisible one, is very hard. Oh, this is much better. Oh, i got to get the edge ones. There we go. Yeah, if you know any variations that you really like on each of these games, let us know. And we'll play that variation for the very limited time we have. <laughs> I'm yellow. I'm yellow. Sometimes it's hard to... <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah! All right. Co-op. And s most people played these on, like, Variation 1, and they didn't know that there was more. And some of these are better than... more interesting than Variation 1. Eight seconds left. And we're done! Moving on to adventure. Famous game of adventure. Okay, there you go. Get that yellow key. Opens the yellow castle. Get the sword. Kill the dragons. Kill the dragon, kill the dragon. So this... But it there. killed me instead. Nice. Oh no. Nope, you got it. All right. That's the black key. Oh. I think there's only one dragon. So you press the button to drop it, too. Or just exchange. So that's the black key. Opens up the black castle. No, get the sword. Go back. No, oh. you're going to die. Go get the sword. But and it kill died. It. No, you just stunned it. Go get this. I stunned it with the, the key? I guess. <laughs> or the arrow, not the sword. Yeah, I've never played this game. 
It's like for I've when watched it came someone out, play it once. It was. Uh, it's pretty good adventure game. Where'd it go? Uh, it moves. So this came out April third, nineteen eighty, made by Warren Robinette, uh, one of the very early uh, famous. Nice. Now all the dragons are slain, I believe. If anybody can correct me. Now you can, you can drop that just by pressing the button. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to just exchange it because something will get caught in a wall. Oh, I see. Then you have to find the magnet to get it out of the wall. The only part of adventure I don't like is this. Is this maze part. So you, then you need to get the bridge to go over a certain spot that you can't normally go over. Because the maze is... I hate mazes so much. So very much. Dead end. Dead end, dead end. Dead end, dead end. If I had a map, then it'd be like, I'm fine. Third Dragon's only games two and three. Okay, excellent. This came out April 3rd, 1980. Uh, it's just known as Adventure. Okay, go up, maybe. Oh, no, perfect. Drop it there. There you go. And then I think the chalice. Oh, that's the magnet. You don't need that right away. Just drop it. Drop it. Drop it. I tried. <laughs> There's a chalice. Go get the chalice. Bring it back to your original castle and you win the game. Can we do it in five minutes? Darcy's first time ever playing the game. I doubt it. I bet you can. You've got two minutes to get back to your castle. Well, All you know. have is the maze. There's no dragons left. Well, I don't know how to do the maze. <laughs> I, think that, I think this is the right way. Ooh, I think you're right, maybe. Yes, I think you are. Yes, you are. You're going to make it. Yeah, I won! Woo! <laughs> Darcy won! <laughs> now on to two dragons, three dragons. <clears throat> there you go. And a bat that steals things. No, no, no. I don't want that. I hate the maze. I really, really dislike the maze. That's right. So I have a bat now? <laughs> <laughs> Is this supposed to happen? Oh my god, there's a dark area too. Oh my nightmare. A dark maze. But do I have a bat? Darcy world record. Uh, you seem to have a bat. Is that supposed to be? I don't know why you have the bat. Why does he have the bat? I'm the best at this game. Because <laughs> the why. bat usually flies around. Oh, you need the sword. No, I have a bat. <laughs> I don't think the bat <laughs> helps fight the dragon. Get him! Get him, Jack! Yeah, look, he's Get dead. Him. No, he's I stunned. I keyed him. He Ke keyed him and batted him. No, I'm stuck in the dragon. I think you have the bat, and the bat has the key. Yeah. That's the thing. Why would I not want that? Hey, you can grab the bat. <laughs> I didn't know you could bat grab the bat. I think you've been eaten. Oh, you're in his stomach. Yeah, you're dead. Oh. Press the button. Yeah, I think you're dead. Oh. He's dead. 49 seconds to win level two. That, that was very impressive on level one. Like, I, I can't, I, that's way faster than I could do because, oh, there's the key you need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the dark maze. Um, Somebody this is like the first, me. this is the first graphical adventure game. Yeah. That's what it's really famous for. And it for. came out like around the time of D&D. Yeah, 1980. D&D's like late 70s, yeah. right? I mean, within years. And there's a way. And there's different castles. and I mean, the goal in each of these is get the cup to your castle. And famous for its Easter egg, yeah. I mean, it's not the first Easter egg, but it's it's like the second or third Easter egg. Okay, I gotta catch my bat. He's on the loose. Oh, time's up. Time is up for adventure. And now it is time for... Video Pinball, which was uh, a very early... Oh, that was stiff. <laughs> that does not look correct. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> <laughs> that looks better. Okay, back to pull back. And press the button to pinball it up. It's actually a really fun pinball. Um, it's a bit weird on the physics uh very low gravity very bouncy against absolutely everything um this is i remember playing more this bouncy come on bouncy more more bouncy a lot 
I, I got what I, I what careful what you wish for. Jeez. At Dean's house. So Dean had a twenty six hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, that can happen. It's just a hole to go back down. I mean, it usually in pinball games they close it off. It's like a little latch there, so you can't get back down. If you hold down the button, you can change the trajectory of the of the ball. Oh yes, I remember that. So if you hold down the button, you can move the ball, but you'll tilt if you do it too much. Oh. So it's like a basic tilt, but it's more like I can direct the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time that I've had it go back into the... I'm kind of surprised you oh. don't know much about adventure. It's it's the maze that does me in an adventure. I mean, it's cool to have a maze, but I have a distinct dislike for mazes, especially dark mazes. And it has dark mazes in it. So that's why I really never got into adventure. Wouldn't be adventure without mazes. No, it wouldn't be. Mm. But I remember playing this quite a lot, and it was a lot of fun. It's playing itself right now. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that is one of the problems of this game. It bounces a lot. It bounces way too much, and you just you barely have any interaction with it. And one time it got stuck in the game I was playing, and it just kept racking up score. I mean, I haven't lost the ball yet. And, like, let's face it, I'm playing. So this like, came out a week after Adventure on April 10th. Uh, this is made by Bob Smith. It's also call, called Arcade Pinball. It's CX2648, if you needed to know that. Oh, too. it did go down that uh, the right thou hand side? shalt lose. Or the left-hand side? Yeah. Uh, okay. Boing. I did a thing. <laughs> I mean, this has nothing on Midnight Magic, but in 1980, this was pretty damn cool. Hey, Ataris, you got three Ataris. Three Fujis. But you don't get points for hitting them? Or they just show up and then... Uh, oh, not hitting them. It's more like a display. Yeah, of... yeah. It's like, look how awesome you are. Yep. You totally atari did it up. Yay! Yay! Woo! Big points and flashing. The next thing we're going to be doing is basic programming. Oh. And I've got some, uh, I'll just do a preamble here so we don't waste time because we won't have much time to make a program. There's overlays that go with it. Um, I don't have the overlays out. I'm sure I have them somewhere because I'm sure I have the box for this. Um, but I was watching a YouTube to prime myself on how to do the programming and how to input things. And uh, we've got some example programs that we're going to put in. And I have a cheat sheet that makes it a lot easier. No, this is pinball time. To import. 45 seconds of pinball. You're cheating. <laughs> oh, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I have to do this or we won't. Definitely won't be able to do it. We won't be able to get Hello World done. Yeah, that's the first one we're going to do is Hello World, actually. Of course. Oh, I lost you did. a ball. Is the game over? No, there's nope. another ball. ball left. This is the most quarter-efficient game ever created. <laughs> Definitely. Kitty, you're really impinging on my... Yeah, attack my hand. There we go. Got a couple programs here. Need to change the controllers quickly, or would that be out of the five minutes? Oh, oh, we, we oh, might... look at the ball! It's stuck up there! Oh! It that was. was. Cool. Oh. Oh. Done. I've got the controllers out. Boom. Boom. Oh wow, you don't. You, I, I see your system and I approve. This hook up? No, oh. that the timer is already going. Oh yeah. There's <laughs> no time to waste on this. This is even more efficient having the cartridges here than last time. Okay. Here you go. Stick them together. That way. Yep. Okay, so let me do it quick. Mm -hmm. There's different areas Just you, can, you do it. Yeah, you yeah. can turn off and on. Turn off the status at the top. Okay. Turn off the program. Uh, it fills the screen with other things. Turn off the stack. Turn off the variable. Uh, you can turn off the output as well, and you can turn off the graphics. 
He's fine. He just goes after the... Uh... Yeah, but there happens to be a cable inside, and he happens to have sharp kitten teeth. Ah. Okay, so let's do print. Uh, so we have to go to... And there's different modes. See the color? Mm -hmm. That dictates what I can type in with these, because mm -hmm. each one has a different display. Um, so we're going to do print, and then go to... We're still on green. And then we do hello world. Go to moot blue, which is the uh, letters mm -hmm. H E. I see that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. L L O. We'll just do hello. No, we'll do hello world. Yeah, come on. There's... You've got three minutes and twenty seconds. <laughs> That's right. Do it right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to go to green for the W. Uh, w and back to blue. blue. O R L. D, and then we do a green quote, and then we do a new line, line two, and then we do a go to one. Actually, we'll do a, uh, yeah, we'll go to one. Sure. Uh, go to, and then red. Oh, guess it's orange. Go to one. And then we go back to a, yellow, a white for the commands. And then we do a run. Oh, let's uh, turn off some of these. Turn off the status. Uh, we'll turn off, we'll keep, yeah, we'll turn off this. We'll turn off variables because we're not actually even using variables. Turn off the graphics and we will run. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there, oh, it worked. Or not. Oh, no, hello world on the output. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Apparently I had to press it's run twice. Ah. Um, very cool. So if you go to back to the status, um, you only have a certain amount of memory, which is symbols. And there's not enough memory to print another line of hello world oh. on the screen. Uh, take off the stack. Oh, it, it actually reruns it. Um, so if we erase this, the go to one. Oh God, it didn't erase it. Uh, oh, I have to go forward and then erase. There we go. Forward, erase, go new line. Then we'll do a clear screen uh -huh. because then it won't use up clear. Then we'll do a new line. And then we'll do a go to one. I could have done insert, but uh, go to orange one, and this should work. There you go. So it outputs hello world. Yeah, and then clears and it. And then clears it, does yeah. it over and over again. We can turn off all the other things. Turn off the that. Now it doesn't jump. Hello world! There we go. There we go. Success. You win. You got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. So we won't Program be doing... something else. <laughs> it's not enough time. Was this the first <laughs> game that used flickering to create those fonts? I think it was. This is the first ah. thing to use flickering to do full screen text, which open up a world of possibilities, especially for chess later on ah. as well. Um, so we'll just run this till the timer goes off. So that's basic programming. It is pretty goddamn amazing for 1980 on a console to be able to do programming. Only li nine lines of code though. Okay, on to the next game. 3D tic-tac-toe. Not just tic-tac-toe, it's 3D tic-tac-toe. Oh, that's... We're pretend we're on Star Trek. Oh no. There you go, good luck. No idea what the controls are for this. Uh, I think that's it for the keyboard controllers. I thought that was white. I think we have some paddle games later. I don't uh, believe that I know any tic tac toe strategies at all. Okay, kitten. You're out of control. Did he win? Yeah, he won. I see. 
Either Amazon Basic or Chargeable. I played right into his hands! <laughs> or something. Oh, do I have to reset? Probably. Here, you play now. Okay, who am I? The X's? Do the X's. Okay, let's do... How do you skip to the next board? You just... Oh, you just keep going. Uh... Careful, he tried that on me too. I have to block him. Not yet, I guess. Um... Guessing you can do it through multiple boards. So if we go down to the next board and put one there. What is he strategizing? What is his O's? Oh, he just blocked me. Yeah. Because I have an X's going through three, the third yeah. dimension. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back to the first, even though he's going to block me again. But he's on the defensive. That's, that's good. Uh... What the first couch compliant game was. I wonder, there are some of the original lineup. You can press the button to, uh, I know he's doing something. Oh. oh, I've already blocked him through that way. The O's where he just put an O. Oh, he's blocking me. Oh my God. I'll just concentrate on the first board, I think. lot to keep track of. I'm amazed how quick it is to think. Oh, never mind. He destroyed me as well. Okay, your turn again. Oh, sometimes five minutes is more than enough. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. There's only so much you could do with tic-tac-toe. I mean, it's, it's good. It's much better in the third dimension. Normal tic-tac-toe with three by three and one is it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Pretty easy to understand. This tic-tac-toe is always too much for my brain. Ah. Nostalgic says this is also about the last game. This is also pretty full featured as debugging features and windows that we didn't have until IDEs like Turbo Pascal. That's true. It does have a lot of displays of what's going on in the program. Oh, also with the uh, basic programming, it had two blocks in the graphics portion. You can move around and it had basic collision as well so you can kind of and you can you can't use a joystick con to control them but you can use the keyboard to control one of them but there's only nine lines of program you can put into it but you can make them long but also the program you made used up the memory that you're going to use for the game and the variables and the actual program it's the game itself basic programming if you call it a game used up half the memory of the Atari 2600, which is 128 bytes. So you only had 64 bytes for your program, your variables. Did it have a stack? Does it have a push and pop? No, oh, I'm doing, it just has variables. I'm doing dumb mode. <laughs> You're on dumb mode? I'm on dumbo mode. What has he got going? We've blocked the vertical in that O. I don't see him having a winning play at this moment. Yeah, I don't... Um, oh, oh, what the... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's got it. 12 seconds left. We're good. Your turn. No, you gotta win. Win, win in 12 seconds. Look at those comb lines. 12 seconds. And checkmate. You don't have to win. You have to play. You have to finish the game in 12 seconds. Oh, uh, no, you're out of time. Go, 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 oh. no, 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 you're out of time. Go, go, go. <laughs> it's time for golf. <laughs> uh -oh. I think. Time for golf? Where's my list? Oh, my God, time is ticking away. We're not going to have enough time to play golf. Unless it's as good as that last game, in which case we will have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was actually... Like it did perfectly. What it's it was great. To... It was. It was. Good, it did its job. Good visuals. Actually, very good visuals. Uh, I don't know if there's two players. We'll just play one player. Okay. So the angle of your, that's gonna hit it that way. It's like think of the plane. Mm-hmm. So move your guy down. Move him down, 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 down. There. Now that's kind of gonna hit it towards the. Now you hold it down. Oh, there you go. More, more, more. 
I don't think you have to be in contact with it. Okay, now hit it. Is this baseball? <laughs> it's cut. <laughs> treat it like baseball, as if he has a bat. 25 seconds lost by changing the cartridge. Okay, so this um, is made by, oh, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe. Sorry, was released on June 1st, 1980 by Carol Shaw. This one is a uh, golf made by Michael Lorenzen. Uh, June 11th, 1980. I should put a star on the ones that I don't have the cartridges for it, so I know not to search for them. One, first one's Dragster. And hey, I got it! Oh no, I I'm in the green dragster. now. I'm on the green. Uh, That's cool. Fishing Derby? Oh, nice! It changes... Uh... Fishing Derby and Video Checkers. Hi. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Headbutts. Hi, headbutts. Carol Shaw made this. Cafe Man 2D says, then joined Activision made River Raid, which is a classic game. River. Oh, you're going to hit it upwards. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, smart. Smart. There you go. Cats protesting. Ooh, mm, pretty good. If you can make it past that tree, I think you have to be below it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. This is a super fun game when you know how to play. Yeah, it is a good representation of golf. Like, you have... I mean, it doesn't have all the fanciness of other games, but it has... The ball, it has a swing, you can hit it hard, you can hit it soft, it's got trees, it's got a sand trap, it's got a separate green as well. You can't pick clubs, as far as I know. It picks the clubs for you. Yeah, it picks the very appropriate club for you. I I don't have any notes on whether which games are based on arcade games or not. Because we're just we're just playing these for fun. I'm not doing a history lesson. If I know something about it, here you play the next hole. If I know something about the game, then I will talk about it. But it would take me eons to have notes about all these games. Oh, hi beast! This hi. one I have to go around, don't I? Hi beast! I don't know. I don't know if I can hit it. I think you can probably hit it across, but uh, only if you hit it hard enough to get it across. Let me try. Let me try and hit it across that angle there. Let me do a big wind up. No. No. That the is... water is in the sky. That's right. Those are cement walls that go to the go to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, go! Oh, oh, so close. Just a soft touch there. I got it in the hole. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's good. Pretty good. Wow. That's cool, because otherwise you'd never be able to get a hole in one if you couldn't. That's true. I don't know if you could get a hole in one. It's very hard to. Um... You gotta go straight up. Yeah. Psst. Okay, cats, you oh, need there to you go. stop, there you stop go. your shenanigans. The thing, uh, the thing that was a problem for me is I just did not learn. How do you do that? To... Well, I guess I'll do it straight across. I didn't cat. I didn't learn to Stop smack it. it hard psst, enough. Psst, psst, psst. Like yeah. I was always smacking it a little too. Oh, one more hit. One no, more no, hit. No, no, it's more done. Hit. No, more hit. no. Hole in one. No. No. Okay. You can't steal from the next game. Those are the rules. That's true. I don't know if they're the rules. I, they you are. made the rules, not me. <laughs> we can go longer. Okay. Oh, oh my. Okay, do we pause the timer? Yeah, we pause the timer. Well, we'll reset it. It's oh treat time for cats. It's treat time for kitties. And Sprite's already on it. You hit that buzz. It's the bell. Oh, you hit, hit it. Hit, hit it, it harder. Hit it harder, dum dum. <laughs> no. Harder. Come on. Hit it harder. Hit the bell. Hit it. It's like I did. Yay! 
You only get one. Timed tree time. No, they will, uh, yeah. That'd be interesting. How many can, can they get in uh, five minutes? That's way too much. What's your bell? Oh, soft, but it counts. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, RC70, for treating the cats. They 100% appreciate it. Who did it last time? Al Lefer, uh in the last show. And Ivory Tower Collections. Thank you so much for feeding the cats. I think I might have missed those. He is food motivated. He's definitely more, more enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> and more precise, too. Well, he's little. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Part of it is that when uh, Tari does it, he's like looking at the food sometimes. You know? <laughs> Catch your bell. Go on. Good kitty. Charles Reese says, we're here for the cats, James. Oh, I 100% know that they are the stars of the show. The cats rule it all. Good kitties. Good kitties. Thank you, RC70. Good kitties. Yeah, good you're cats. good. They're like, get away from me. <laughs> get away. Give me treats or nothing. Give okay. me treats or give me death. This is Night Driver, June 12th, 1980. And you won't be able to play because this is a paddles game. Oh. So it's good we actually stopped it. Because we'd have to reset the timer anyway. Oh, look at that fuzzy butt. Meow. Yeah, one of those will work. Who knows which one? Oh. Not that one. It is oh, not this one either. <laughs> Go. Hit press the button to start. I think. Oh, button to accelerate. So, uh, drive okay, it. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's funky. It's weird and psychedelic. And the road moves weird, but it's pretty cool. Oh, no, the way that the road moves is awesome. <laughs> because it's like, you only have a narrow bit on the road, but the road is bigger than it is on the screen. That's the cool thing. Ah, yeah, It's like, it's approximating the road. It, I don't know, it's stop weird, it, but it, like, it. yes, I'm terrible at it, but like, I get it. <laughs> the student has surpassed the teacher. Cats train Darcy to give them treats. That's exactly right, haven't you? Um, we train them to train us to give them treats. So this is made by Rob Phillip, uh, Night Driver, uh, CX2633. It's not a racing game. We're just on the highway and these people are annoyed with us. They're honking. They're like, get out the road, you're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> exactly. Oh, go, go. Oh, you didn't set the timer. Oh, God. Uh, okay, well, I'll play it too. How many times do I die before... Uh... Oh, the time runs out? Yeah, 25 seconds. Why is there two timers? Uh, 30 cars pass? Dope. That's the distance. I'm guessing on the ah. left, because it's going up. Honk. Oh, that's cool. It honks. Why are you attacking your doppelganger so much? Why? He says there can only be one uh, sprite in this house. Oh, so you time. got 43. Okay. I guess. Should I just click yep. the reset. reset? Reset. Oh my god, did you pass me the wrong one? No. Oh. You, you gotta press the button to go, or yeah. you. So you can't have the wrong one. Oh, some sloppy steering on this. Oh my god, it's really wide. Uh, I don't. That's what I'm saying is like the road is wider. That's the that's what I think is cool about it it's, is that it's like like the extreme, I like I really thought the controls were great. They're so it's like manual steering. There's no power steering in this game. They're so sloppy. Oh my god, it's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. It needs ducks. <laughs> ducks crossing the road? Sure, yeah. That would work. And you have to stop for them. You are right, the cars are only on one side of the street. Yeah, they should only be. Yeah, that's interesting. Because it's not a race, it's just you riding at night. <laughs> you being like crazy. Like a douchebag. Yep. <laughs> honk, honk, you're on the side. But the cars seem to honk no matter what. They're like, I know you're crazy. Well, 
have yeah they honk they honk as a warning they see some nut job on the road and they're like honk 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 maybe they're just warning you about radar trap oh yeah it could be i don't think there's cops in this game no because you hear about them and you slow down you don't slow down no no slowing down oh well, now that i'm used to the controls it's good it's really good Ah, uh, of course I crashed. Three seconds. What did you get? Forty. More than forty-one. Oh. I don't know what I. I think I. Think I, you got forty-two as well. Did I? I thought it was forty-eight. I'm pretty sure it was forty-eight. I have not played this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea what it was. How many variations? Eight. <laughs> Let's do number six. Okay. Variation six. I don't know what it is, but it's number six. Oh, there is no timer. Oh, timer's going up. You only have a timer going up? Or distance? Right. Maybe it's lives. <laughs> What's different about this variation? I mean, it's, it's lots harder. of cars. <laughs> it's harder, <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's try number eight. Okay, you gotta stop playing with those batteries. They're not for cats. Those are for electronics. Are you an electronic cat? You are not. You don't run on batteries, cat. Very dangerous. So any difference in this one? Not really. It's Way more cars. Counting up. Let's just try variation two. I will try variation two. Oh, 90 seconds uh... timer. And it's not going down? Interesting. Anything in the chat about anything about this game? No, it's going down now. Oh. It just didn't at first. Four, four tracks. tracks. Games one through four are timed, five through eight are untimed. Oh, so you just practice on five through eight, okay. Oh, different tracks. So more, more turns, maybe. I need to buy the driver paddle. Oh my god. Driving controllers? Yes. Yeah. You need a full set of everything. You need the key. The, the um, keyboard controls. Because there was a great game put out recently. What, what is it? What's the, the groundhog game? You smack the groundhog. Oh my god, the road is windy in this one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's a mountain, windy mountain road. Oh my god. It's hard. I think you get you get more time in this one. It was 60? The other one? Oh, brutal. Nine seconds left. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not sure. I seem to recall when you were complaining about how much time it was. I thought it said 90 then. Oh, that's it! Time! Go, 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 go! Move, move, move! X1 Circuit Starry. Also paddles. That's great. I'm okay. not going to change them. There you go. Catch him on the other side. Button changes uh, the uh, flips the... Uh, almost. Uh, so, Circus Starry was made, uh, put out July 20th, 1980. This is by Michael Lorenzen. It's also called oh Circus my God. or Seesaw. So it's Breakout with a Seesaw. <laughs> Oh. Squish. I think you have to get him on the end to go higher. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Which just not makes good sense. At it. This is a classic too. I I never got into this game for some reason. Not couch compliant. Nothing is back then. Well, it had different couch compliant. Oh, let's play because... a different version. Let's play a version two. Some of them are really subtle, the differences. Squish. I don't know why my instinct is... Oh, two player? Oh, I see, yeah. I don't know why my instinct sometimes is to go the wrong way. Like, there's something going on. <laughs> like... Oh. You know how if you play a first-person shooter, you can... Right, up, down? Yeah. yeah, you can get those backwards. Like, it felt like that. It felt like I was... There's no decent way to emulate Night Driver. I have to buy it. I've always wanted to play it again. 
Yeah, if you need specific controllers, that's why this 2600 is so awesome. It has such unique get up there controls. Like the trackball and the driving controls and the paddles and the keyboard controls. I mean, the keyboard controls. You can use a, a keyboard for that, but just the analog of this is so good. It's like Breakout, except hard. <laughs> except harder. Because you have to deal with special situations at the bottom. Yeah. This was an arcade game. I remember that. Oh. Huh. This, this is entirely... If, some, if you'd done this on a regular show, I would have been thinking this is a homebrew. Like it's. There was a homebrew made It's not this. one I've seen before, I guess is what I'm trying there, to say. This was remade as a homebrew um, with better graphics. I can't remember who did it. Sorry, I apologize. The pedals are what really, truly set the Atari systems apart from uh, others. Yes, the pedals are such a good input. It's too bad they take up so much of the... Um, processing time because you have to uh, check them every line I just keep doing that oh damn it you went off a bit how many lives do we get oh my god I I, I started oh to... Bob did it was it for the 7800 then it must have been for the 7800 I think Bob's made too many um Bob Deckers Enzo uh, made too many 200, 2600 games. If any. I'm sure he's made one. Oh, it's over. We have a minute. Let's try another variation of two players. Let's try game two. Oh, I think those block you. Do they? And they don't disappear? Let's see if we hit them. Oh, yeah, they don't disappear. But they also keep you up. Yeah, if you get under them. Over them. bounce yeah. you back, yeah. Uh, Dave M says, when we first got this, I was little. We didn't know how to play it. We just sit there and watch the clowns splat for hours and hours. <laughs> Simpler times. <laughs> uh, it's probably because I find it so hard to catch the guys at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I just not like I like breakout. That's fun. But this just the extra complexity. I can kind of talk trash about old games. <laughs> oh, I like I like the the, the difference. It's cool. It's like the concepts are really good. It just it's like a, the fact that that you there's lots of places you can catch them, but you got to get them right in the end if you want to get high enough to get the points. Yeah, it's not just catching. Yeah. It's a little bit more than that. And there's safety on the sides. And because it's right on the end, it means that you're very close to, like, uh, losing the guy. Yeah. If you get him in the right spot, it means that you were, like, real close to not getting him. Uh, now it's Dragster. Okay. Uh, we're going to fail at this. Oh, uh, controllers? Okay. Yep. Yeah, he cleaned his controllers you clean them right do, uh, you, do I you do anything else to them no those are those are really good right now i was yeah. saying that last show oh uh-oh act the plaque as a struck oh, a little bit better i think might have to emulate this one Emulation! Oh my god. Why? Uh oh. What is happening? Dragster has destroyed my system. What is happening? Terrible. Oh, oh, it's coming back in. There we go. <sighs> we'll reset Dragster? the clock. Yeah. Okay, let me show you. It is, uh, oh, this is the first game to be couch compliant. Ah. Uh. 
Yep. I... Okay. You press to the right to reset. Oh, it's two-player. Oh, perfect. Damn it. Oh, I see. Okay, to... Uh, press the button to accelerate and Left then... to switch gears. Okay. And the button is accelerate. Okay. And you have to switch into first. Oh, I it was early and I've been disqualified. That is not a terrible score. Oh, what? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> ah, too much. Oh, yes, this is the first third party game. It's the first Activision game released. What? I didn't even do anything. Oh, stop. Okay, let me read about it. You can do your own thing. Um, this is released at August 12th, 1980 by Activision, David Crane. Okay. Ah, too much. My goal this time is to like... Damn it. Damn it! I know what I'm gonna do this time. Damn it. Take it slow. <laughs> Yay, you did it! 10, 1065! You finished the race. I did it way better than all the other racers. Oh my god. Stop blowing your engines! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Seven forty four. Seven thirty one. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> So the award for first couch compliant game goes to David Crane. Ah. He he does so many firsts of of things in video games. Oh, this is gonna be a good one, I think. 647. What is the patch score for this game? Does anybody know? Did I get it? Oops. Did I get it for 647? Because then I can do two and one. Ooh, a little bit worse. Was this game a success for Activision? Uh, I don't know. A lot of early games were gambling or simulation games. Like, oh, it's baseball to sport. That yeah. kind of thing. Or a space shooter. The, those were the genres, really. Oh, terrible. I, I I don't actually know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, okay. I know that I'm blowing my engine, but like you're holding down the button too long before shifting. What does C mean? Uh, Do you have to hit it twice to change? Nope, just once to the left. Why does it say C sometimes? Uh, I don't know. I went early. Uh, there's nothing there. Stop. Stop. Yep. Stop. Six or lower, six or lower, or six, two on lower game two. So I have to get six or lower. Yeah, Damn that's it. what I thought the C was somehow for the clutch. But oh, I know what it is. Yeah, it is I know what it is. I know what I'm doing wrong, I think. Damn it. I mean, I'm doing several things wrong, but one <laughs> of them is. No, no, we're done. Go. No, but I want my patch. No, no. I <laughs> well, that's the next one I'm going to go for a patch on, for sure. Uh, boxing is next. Nope. 
No, 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 that's correct. Put it up there. Up here? Yep. Oh, okay. Because it's in order. Oh, I see. The big stack on the Atari is the done one. Yep. yep. Boxing. Okay. This is fun. Okay. Punch him in the face. Oh, it's this one. There you go. This is player one. Oh, is white the... Um... You're white. In the white trunks is Darcy. Uh, this is also Activision. August 12th, uh, 1980 by Bob Whitehead. It's also called Box Champion. C for clutch. That makes sense. Because every time you... Yeah, that's lift, the thing I was doing gas. wrong is that I was... Um... They're kicking his ass. 35, 37, 38. I've already got the patch in this one, I, I believe. Because I pulled Dragster from the ones that I don't have a patch for, but now that I... I did okay in it. I was I, kicking his butt until you said I was kicking his butt, and then I guess that distracted me. It, it woke him up. He's like, ah, I got it. I got oh, you're only just behind him. Yeah, but I was way ahead of him. You were. <laughs> and sometimes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a close fight. What's it supposed to go to? How many points? Uh, timer. Oh, timer. Or maybe 99 as well. It might stop on 99. Were all the original Activisions released on the same day? They they were... Like, all these dates that I have are from newspaper clippings of the first mention of instance of the games going on sale. There were f two games released in one week, Dragster and Boxing, and then two games released approximately a week later, Checkers and Fishing Derby. So within, within one week... Not at the same date. They were all f the first four Activision games were released. August twelfth and seventeenth, nineteen eighty. I I think the boxing game is fun. There's a strategy you can do where you go slightly up and down. That's what I was you doing. You go punch, punch, punch. You won. I won. Is this uh, couch compliant? No. It is. Come on, Bob. Get your. Oh my God! Look, he's already doing it to me. <laughs> well, he was doing the moving. You didn't have. Or you're the black one? I'm uh, the white. You're the white one. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> but you have to get him up against the ropes so he bounces uh, off them. Yeah. happened to you that happened to me i know he's catching up <laughs> my god i mean not as badly as it happened to me but... oh. Oh. i don't know i think this guy gets a second wind Killed me in 18 seconds. Wait, you were the white one, though. I know. So, he, he, did oh, he, he get KO'd killed? you? Yeah, I only got 98 oh, points, so he I just that, yeah. beat me. Is this the first game to do all H moves on the side? Was the last one, was Dragster, and did it have lines? Yeah, there were there were lines in Dragster, yeah. Were there? Yeah. Oh. Well, I can't really pop it in because it didn't work, right? And it ruined it when you put it in, remember? Oh, it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's I got guess. a virus. It does. An Atari virus. virus. That I think it was the first one. Um, so now it's time for checkers. Uh oh. Not 3D checkers though. Not. Th <laughs> that would be. That sounds crazy. Oh, checkers is being a problem too. Nope. 
Oh, there, there we go. Let's play two players. Uh-oh. I don't know how to play checkers. Move and jump. There's you. Move to a uh, piece and then press a button and then move it. Oh, now it's still a computer. What's that? Uh, it's the computer playing you. Oh, Except it it's the computer on uh, thinky think mode. So it's taking a long time and you don't get to see what it's doing? Oh, is it trying stuff out on the it's, screen? It's thinking. Is it doing it by trying them on the screen? Why is it blank? Not the screen, no. Enough. Oh. For sure not the screen. It's just blanking out so it can um, give all of its processor time to thinking rather than constantly displaying the screen. Uh, this one also has the um, H move down the down the side. Well, it's hard to tell because it's black all the way. So they may have just made it black and shifted it over. Atari consoles were designed to be in uh, on the couch, extremely long antenna cable and power supply cord. So the console is already couch compliant and the games didn't need to be couch compliant. Yeah, technically people had it in front of them yeah. or on the couch. That's why we had to change the world. <laughs> That's right. One game at a time. We change the world. Change the rules of what couch compliance is. Good move. Blocking them. Here, you play. <laughs> well, we're almost halfway through, so, uh, you know. You that's gotta true. Get, you got to get some uh, checkers time in. That's true. And I can say I also played all the games. <laughs> this game does take a long time to think. Probably shouldn't have changed it from game one. Oh, he's forced my hand. Yeah, but all you're doing is trading. He, that's true. Yeah, you can't... Oh, those diagonals. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Now he's going to jump me. He doesn't have to, but he well, probably should. It, so Ooh, now I can't jump him. But if I move this... Here, he can't jump me, and I jump him. But he can move. He'll move to to block to defend there, probably. Oh, he didn't. But he didn't. I'm not so sure about the diagonals. It's a bit awkward. It's to like move. Yeah. It's it's like Hubert. Like up does nothing, down does nothing, left and right do nothing. Uh oh. What? What are you thinking about? Oh no! Oh, no, he did a double move. Oh no. What should I do? I should do this one, I guess. We're just eating up either each other's checkers. <laughs> one by one. Guess the cats are full of treats. Oh! Speak of the cat. <laughs> are you the cat? I am the cat. I am the cat. I have returned. The other one is not the cat. I am the cat. I am the first cat. I I rule the house. I dictate the rules. The uh, enthusiastic one is not <laughs> a cat yet. He is. He's a baby. He's stupid cat. He's still <laughs> stupid. Don't still be tricked learning. by his bell use. <laughs> okay. Mm, can't move that. Can't move that. Can't move that. Um, you can move that one. It's probably the best. I don't even know. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> don't be jumped. Jump. No, I know, but yeah. what I mean is, I don't. I've never played it much, so I don't know the strategies, or I don't have any pre pre made up strategies. No, neither do I. And I've, because I've barely played it, and because there's so many things available, anyone who's played it before would just like crush me. Oh yeah, that's yeah. just how it is. Hundred percent. Just how it is, man. I think we have one more. One more move. One more move after it thinks about it. Um, it's the same with chess. The Atari blanks its screen and it can go out for like... Oh, of course it did that. But it means I can move up here. Um, and can go out on the hardest one for like 10 minutes, I think, at a time. So you would just leave the console and go do something and you're like, oh, it's done. I can make my next move. And checkers is done. Very good representation of checkers. No problems at all. It's time for fishing derby. Of which I do not have a cart of. 
at least not a loose cart. Uh, Fishing Derby, August 17th, uh, by David Crane. It's David Crane's second Activision game. The last one was by Alan Miller. Uh, let's try and do two-player. Hopefully that is two-player. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, okay, so catch the fish. Oh, press the button to hook them. Automatically brings them up, and you can steer, I believe. And you don't want to get the shark eating your fish. You don't even want the shark to um, uh, touch it with it, your tail. And I believe you get more points for lower fish. Yes. But it takes more time to get the lower fish. Not, not any more danger, really, because the shark is only at the top, no matter if you're doing low fish or high fish. It's just the risk of losing all that time by the shark accidentally, or not accidentally, on purpose getting your fish. Another one with uh, great early graphics and huge sprites as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. There we go. Oh, it ate it. Damn it. Get away, shark. Come on. Come on, go up. Oh, he ate it. Oh, he keeps eating it. Why? Get off my side. Really good controls. Um, cool fishing line as well. Being able to draw that um, fishing line all the way down. The animated water is really good. There's a lot going on here that really must have really astounded people back in 1980. And it's not just the waves at the top. They change, too, from big lines to smaller lines. Uh, the number of fish on the screen. There's no comb lines, either. A very big shark. And very detailed shark, too. So I'm guessing the shark is using at least two players, player characters, if not also the ball in the middle as well to extend his body. Is this the first 99? Oh, 98. 99. 99. Uh, let's see if there's like. Let's just reset it so we can go back to game one. Oh, damn it! It's on the cartridge. Go, load it up, load it up. Which one? Uh. What's called? Fishing. Fishing Derby. Oh, it. Oh, sorry, why? What happened? Uh, I want you to play against the computer. Because we didn't show that. Oh, I see. That's it for paddle games for today. Just to show it. Yeah, there's a lot graphically going on here. Get away, shark. And Why does he spend all his time on my side? Also, I didn't even notice this. Trans How does it go up? It just stays down sometimes, unless the shark's there, and then for some reason it goes up. Oh, that is interesting. I couldn't figure that out either, why it goes up or not. Do you have to press up? I think. Activision really strived to hide the comb. I think the only the the first game they put out was the only time well, they like, showed the Well, why does the... Ah. <laughs> Look at the transparent water. It goes in front and then behind. And How are they even doing now. that? I don't, I don't know what's going on. How it goes up or not? Like, sometimes it just seems to go up without me, and other times, like... <laughs> Does it only Does go up? Does the button up? actually do anything? Oh, the button only... It only goes up when the shark's on your side, I think. Oh, time's up. Okay. Next one is Maze Craze.
See that flickering? It was drawing the maze. Ah. Ready? Get your joystick. It's making a new maze. Go! Oh, I have to play too. Uh, I'm way behind. You I'm hate behind. mazes. I hate mazes. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Is there some way you're trying to get out? Yep, you have to get oh, to the exit. Right. And I think it's this way. Oh no, you surpassed me! Oh god, oh my god, I went the wrong way. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna follow Darcy. Oh, you won! Well, uh, for a second there, I was like, well, I'm going toward the exit. And I was like, wait a minute, that other car is going away from the exit. Maybe that other car is me. Maybe I'm accidentally going out of here. Because <laughs> you know how it is when you... Oh god, is this the right way? Uh, no. Don't think it is. We we'll have to hide from that guy. Uh, which this way is it? Oh no, it's not. Oh no, which way is it? Oh, I see. Oh, I got hit by my guy. So am I completely disabled or just for a little bit? I'm guessing just for a little bit. Damn it! One again. There's a register that changes the priority. But you of the still play. Oh, oh. oh. over Maybe under. Not. But how did they do the transparency? That's a dead end. What is this? Oh, God, it is. Not the wrong way completely. Oh, I have to worry about yours, too? Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Oh, both dead. It's drawing the maze. And this is astounding because of the maze creation. Oh god, I gotta hide from this guy. Ah! Go down. Go down that path. No, oh, I thought he was gonna go down that. Is he following the left wall? I don't know what he does, because like I hid one time and it didn't do me oh, any good. Which way is it? It's this way. Oh, oh, run! This one's a very short maze. Yeah, I actually won! Raptor uses that trick with the pink shielded zones. Ah. Ooh. Which? Yeah, I think you're right. Yep, you are right. Oh, God. Oh, which way is he going to go? He went to kill you! I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't either. I don't know the decision... Does it go to whoever's closest, or is it? Like... I don't know if it follows a left or right wall or not. Okay, let's play a variation. That's terrible. Dark mazes. Sure. Oh God. Oh, oh, you can you can look at it every once in a while, or is it? Nope. Ah, ah. Oh God. Which way? That was very close, but... Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, he's coming back. I don't know what you're supposed to do about those things, because they follow you. Uh, not always. They go down certain paths. Oh, it's random. Every They're time random. I go, Every time I try to avoid them, every time, they come at me. And by every time, I mean two <laughs> times, or three times. <laughs> Do it three times. This one adds another baddie. Three baddies. Oh, I think it's this way. Yeah, no, I, I uh... uh... Oh, God. Is it this way? No. This way? Which I don't even I know if it's blue. this way. Oh, it is, because they're coming. Oh, God. Do I go down? Yeah, ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't know how to avoid them. Yeah. Like, you just randomly die. Uh, no. Yes? Oh my god, where is it? Oh, you found it. Okay. I'm gonna hide down here. Yay! But there's two more coming! Oh no. Hide down here. Hide to here. Oh god. <laughs> Three seconds. Um, interesting game. Uh, video checkers. So you have to put in the uh, harmony part. I don't have video checkers. So now we get to directly compare 
checkers to video checkers. So the last one was Activision's checkers. And then just weeks, weeks later, Atari put out checkers. Oh, the checkers are much better than the Activision one. Oh, you didn't have to press reset. Couch compliant? Well, Question mark? it started. You don't normally have to press reset to play the first game, do you? Um, usually you do, but this is checkers, so things action is. How do you? You have to pick your checker first that you want to move. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. And it flashes. Yeah. Thanks, quicker this time. <laughs> well, we're on game one, so I don't know if that. No, you can't go. Controls uh -oh. seem much stiffer in this game, though. Yeah, I'm still fine. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, Charles Reese. <laughs> or oh, random. RNG, RNG, RNG. RNG yeah. Maze Craze, I love the mod where the other player has to die if you want to go out. Oh, what? Really? Huh. Uh, I might like that if I understood how you're supposed to avoid those things once they come near you. Yeah, I don't quite get it. It seems like they're either chasing you, which I don't is even deadly. Remotely get it. Yeah, like I... Or it's... Am I forced to jump? Oh, you are forced to jump. Oh. Are you? Is that how the game works? The controls are much worse in this game. Like, they seem to be stuck. Like, and don't move well. And there's comb lines as well. Why is it thinking about it? What? Is, do I have to jump again? No. Oh, it's just showing me what happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the controls are... Like, it's scanning, and it's like, if you don't press it at the right time... The thinking is super quick. Uh, I'm getting a little stuck here. Maze Craze was subtitled The Game of Cops and Robbers. Yes, Maze Mania, Maze Craze, the Ma a Game of Cops and Robbers, who is known as, as well. This is also known as Checkers and Atari Video Checkers, too. Um, oh, I see. It shows you what it did until you press the button. Okay. Yeah, so that you can tell. If, if you go out of the room, especially if it's for a long... Oh. Do I have to jump somewhere? What you is happening? You have to click on that one. I thought I did. Yeah. The controls in this are terrible. Like, press the button. really bad. Oh, I thought for a second there. I'm getting pretty stuck here. Oh, oh is it going to make you jump? The controls are terrible. You have to, like, hold it down. Oh. See, I missed it. It didn't catch me pressing the button. You have to jump if you have to jump. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't get And why does it ask you what to do if it insists on... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. uh. Off. Back out. None of that. You know. Uh, I'm going to open myself up there. It says, I know it's 4.15. It is. <laughs> it is 4.15. He's like, I'm going to misbehave until I get food. <laughs> oh, Lunch. We're almost done. He's not even wrong. It's like 20 minutes left. He's not even wrong not to even be wrong. disgruntled. I am a disgruntled cat. Oh, I'm a disgruntled kitty. Are you a disgruntled kitty? I think, I'm, I think I'm winning. Are you demanding your rights to have food at four? <laughs> I have cat's rights. You have it in your contract. When you adopted me, you Suburbal have to feed me. Per Per based contract. <laughs> Apatre says he played hours of this game. Oh, that guy's stuck there. Um, let's move this up. He's moving down. I'm going to move it up again so that. Oh, stop it. So you go the other way. Um, and then you'd be able to jump him, and he wouldn't be able to jump you. Ooh. Ooh, I do like that. Thank you. Ooh. I mean, then he will be able to jump you, because that's how it often that's happens. That's fine. I'll do a one for one. Oh, my God. OK. 
Okay. There you go, it's flashing. I have to tell, like, the controls are ridiculously bad in this. Yes. Yes, uh, we would like... Okay, we're done this game. I am not winning anymore. This looks like a tie. One, two, three, one, two, six. No, I'm losing. Yeah. By Wait, that count, anyway. No, I'll you. reset it. Because I want as much time on the next one. Are you going to go... Uh, Dodge them! Feed the cats? No, we're, cats. we're all, almost done. They can, they can deal. Uh, you're talking about 20 minutes. Almost done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they can deal. Not too bad. Okay, this game is crazy. Okay, you move in and out by moving left and right, up and down. You shift your car. And button right. goes faster. I'm doing... You have uh, to do it at the at the openings. Oh, I see. The other enemy car can only move one at a time. Mm -hmm. So your best moves are to do two at a time. Oh, that was close. And you can speed up to kind of juggle it so that you don't hit them at the same time or you get to the intersection faster. Ah, uh, you're doing really well. Oh. Yeah, you crashed a couple times to start off with. Da! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Try and get the center ones quick, because... Uh. Oh, does he not collect them at all? No. Ah, okay. I get it now. I find this a very challenging game. Go, go, go! Oh, ho, ho. Oh, uh. I moved, I moved, I moved! It didn't think so. What is it? Reset? What is happening? <laughs> Dave M says, I always thought this game was weird. If you clear five boards, you lose a car. <laughs> what? <laughs> a perfect score is eight is ten eighty. Oh yeah, I seem to remember that. Let's try and play find a two player. Is this try and move yours? Oh it's alternating. Okay. No. this. No. I don't know if there is a two-player option for this. No. Oh, we're back to 1-3. Okay, whatever. It's fine. If anybody can access the manual quickly, tell me if there's a two-player mode. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, that was... Okay, now you're playing. Two player simultaneous, because it, it looks like it'd be made for that, right? Like the opponent can't speed up, but like the second player could um, just move the car up and down. Oh god damn it. Oh. <laughs> You can hold it before you get to the intersection. That's okay. that's what I usually do. A, a big thing that happens to me is I'm pulling on the joystick and I think I'm pulling down, but apparently I'm not pulling straight down or something. Oh, yeah. That's a common issue that I run into. Boom! Ah. <gasps> oh, he sped up. Oh, bastard. Nostalgic says, I always found this difficult. The computer car is so good at moving into your track. Like, it just, it goes to where you are. Um, Not couch compliant. So this one, um, well, I can't read, because, here. This one <laughs> came out in September 24th, 1980, by Carla Meninsky. Uh, it's also called Dodger Cars and Head On. Like I, it's not moving where you want it to. Well, I, I get that it's that I'm d ah. using the controller wrong. I'm just, you know, it is the, what it is. The game of timing, and and moving either f into that lane, like you wait till they've. Oh yeah, it's you. <laughs> Thirty-six seconds. Uh, time for another round.
And I think you really have to take advantage of the fact that they he can only move one at a time. Mm -hmm. So you're guaranteed to, and you wait for him to move. Oops. Yeah, and you try to have it so that you're not both moving at the same time. Damn it, yes. <laughs> So good game, simple, very good gameplay. Exactly. That This is the exact type of game of give and take that you want. Okay, Championship Soccer is up next. Also known as Pele Soccer. Oh, is it two? Nice. Uh, put out September 27th by Steve Wright also known as Pele Soccer and Pele's Championship Soccer. Oh, you shot it right at me. Nice. No, no, but no. the ball is in the goal. But I'm in the goal, I caught it. You have to shoot it where I'm not. I'm pretty some... sure that, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he automatically shot it. What? Oh, they kick it automatically sometimes. Oh, goalie seems to be right where I don't want him. Yay! <gasps> That's cool. What? That's something new. The explosions. No, no, no. Kick it this way. I think the person without the ball moves slightly faster. Yeah, you definitely are <laughs> moving like much faster. Ah, had an opportunity there. I don't think the button does. The button kicks when when you want to kick. Mm -hmm. You press the button, but if you don't want to kick, it automatically does kick too. Kick it. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Get it downfield. No. No. Oh, damn it. Messed up my opportunity. Close. Trying to do some fancy footwork there. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! It's a struggle. The author of the Stella Manual. That's where I know the name from. That's right. I, I bet it's the same one. I'm sure it's not the stand-up comedian. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, we changed sides. Don't kick it that way. <laughs> no! Down perspective is really good. Um, this is an excellent game. The, the handling of the ball, you feel like you, you're in control, and if you're out of control, you feel like it's your fault and not the joystick's fault or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Kick it, kick it, kick it, no! Get it out of there! 
No, 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 no. No, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Goalie does not come out of the goal, though. That's an issue. There we go. Get it up there. Get it. Kick it, kick, kick. Kick, 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 kick. No. <laughs> ah, one more goal. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is skiing. That is a great, great soccer game. That is really, really good. So this one is by Activision, uh, by Bob Whitehead. So, go between the poles. I think it might be just a joystick. Sturdier your skis, the faster you go, etc., etc. Great trees. Great scrolling as well. Is this the first? Scrolling game like this? Like vertically scrolling game? I think it is. This stack is gonna topple. Eh, it, maybe it looks like that from the the webcam, but it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this is the first vertically scrolling game. 3952! Let's try and just try mm -hmm. and beat Look, that. it's couch compliant! Oh. It's couch compliant. But it wasn't to start, so it's not couch compliant. Ah, true. That's weird. Well, it's maybe weird that you. No, I bet it was. We just had the wrong joystick. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That makes that makes the most sense. I mean, you can't change levels. Otherwise, it's insane. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like the first time, no, you can't do it. But every time after that, we would have to have a variable to keep track of that. It would be a waste of variable. Oh, you did try and you succeeded. Yay! Okay, you're playing level two. Skiing, uh, the fifth game released by Activision, Bob Whitehead, December 18th, 1980. So you could get it just before Christmas, just in time. Very good skiing game. The graphics are excellent. The um, the guy looks great. The trees look great. Um, and very clever use of I th of staggering the rocks and the trees and the flags so that it looks like more than it is, but it's literally just one per line, one thing per line, and you are the second player character. Oh! RC70 says, I was good friends with Steven right before I knew of the manual. I forgot about the comedian until he reminded me. <laughs> World Cup Sensations. When I played it, it was my FIFA. <laughs> Adaptree says, so good game. Simple, but very good gameplay. Yep. 115. I have just enough time. Yeah, I got a big uh, nerf because I hit the pole. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. I remember getting the patch for this one. It was very challenging. You had to be like just skirt around the flags mm. and be like straight as you can as long as you can. Mm -hmm. And you had to really memorize where the flags were yeah. because you'd go the wrong way and exactly where they were. It was a, it was an interesting patch to get. Like you do that kind of stuff. You barely make it over to the flag. And you would actually, you would only, you wouldn't even do that with you. Oh, what? Did I mess up? Did you have to do it over again? I don't know. I didn't think I did. Oh, what In fact, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, what? pressing the button just restarts. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna play this till the end. Even if the thing goes off, because we only have one more game after this. 
And it is a game. What do you think of not... that, Achari? He says, what this do you sucks. think? He says, I would like to object. This is too couch compliant. <laughs> it resets automatically if you press the button accidentally. Oh, smush, 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 smush. Yeah, to get the patch, you can't oh. tilt your skis like that. Is that what I thought it was? can only move like this. Is that what I thought it was? No. The game changed. Wrong noise. Wrong noise. <laughs> Hateful noise. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Ooh, it's going to be close. Very close. Fifteen off. What Activision made very 115, I think. Uh, Activision made very good games. My favorite is Hero. Oh, just got Space War in the mail. Inspired by the last After Dark. Wow. Yeah, Space War was was quite quite good. Okay, next game is gonna be a big fail. Because unless Darcy knows how to play bridge. Do you know how to play bridge? Not well. Oh. No, no, I don't, actually. Oh. <laughs> I don't at all, no. Okay. No, I was mixing it up with cribbage. Oh, okay. Which has the word bridge in it. It does. <laughs> and we're going to keep... Uh, we'll do it five minutes. We'll, we'll see. Like, I have zero clue, and I was learning about the other games today. There's no way I could have learned bridge in the time <laughs> that I needed to play it. For some reason, this is the only game my dad would play when uh, it was little. We played this for hours. The skiing. Well, it's a good. It's a good. This is game. how we play it. Random movements and buttons. Yeah. Who's gonna win? We don't know. I mean, it's. So this one was released on um, Christmas Day, 1980. A very strange uh, date to release a game, because most people would buy it. It's by my uh, Larry Kaplan. It's AX006 is its number. I mean, it looks really cool with the blue borders on the side and the line around it, making it look like the borders are around I'm each speed, of those things. I'm a speed plane. Oh my God, doing a speed run of, of bridge. <laughs> with Fine. his eyes closed. Eyes oh closed my God. Speed, speed wow. That's, uh, that's impossible. Your turn. But Something got... happened in that game and I don't know what it was, but <laughs> things happened. It's six across. It's got six things. That I can only speak to the graphics. Oh, yeah, let's play the three. Oh, the graphics are fine. Yeah, yeah. Three of diamonds. I mean, they're not yeah. like crazy imaginative or anything, but no, they they look like they're, they're working. They're super functional, and they look good. You know, it's not like yeah. But I mean, there's lots of board games that they translated to the 2600 in the early days. We've got checkers, chess, bridge. Um, what was another one um, that we had last episode? We're not really going to play this game. What did we play last time? Backgammon. Have you ever played Backgammon? Yep. Yeah. I have as well, like a number of them, but I, it's been a long time, many decades. So I didn't know how to play that one either. Um, and there's casino as well, and slot machine game that they had as well. Uh, poker as well. So they they translated all the card and board games, like the traditional board games, yeah, early yeah. in the runs. They got that out of the way, and then they went out to, I mean, arcade style games more and more. Yeah, yeah. Because there's going to be a certain subset, especially the parents that are buying the games. For the kids, yep. it's gonna be like, well, I want something to play too. I'm not gonna. But it's weird that they that so like they had games like, the thing is, a poker version or a, like was this any good as a bridge game? Because it's not like they were cheap. Is my point? You know what I mean? It's like no, they weren't. Yeah, and like they were like equivalent of fifty or some of them were really expensive. Yeah. Um, Sixty, seventy dollars nowadays mm -hmm. and the system was equivalent of like nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars in today's money depending on that's not that much if that's the exchange well compared to uh consoles nowadays that's quite a bit that is like double 
um, at worst, yeah, Trip, triple true. at tri or triple at best, or at worst, double at best. Look at it go! Am I winning? Am I? I don't know, Are but you, you have winning, another son? minute and twenty seconds to <laughs> succeed around with it. Winning. Well, this is the last game of today of, of nineteen eighty of the eight of of no, it's first day of the eighties. Last game Sorry, of 1980. Of 1980, yeah, not yeah. the 80s. Yeah, that would be crazy. And then we're going <laughs> to move on to 1981, maybe this weekend, because we have to really move through these. So it's going to be like three times a week. And I think we can put all of 1981 into one day. 1982 is where it really takes off, and there's a lot more. And then 83 and 84 are out of control. Those are going to be multiple days. I think starting with 82, it's going to be multiple days. 37 seconds left. Uh, Dave says, I used to know how to play, play bridge. I remember this being pretty decent. Okay. Yep, backgammon. Yeah, we had uh, we played that. Um, and I think this might be the last of like the board games. I think they've exhausted all of them by this time. Got them all out. Oh, no, there's chess. There's still chess we have to do. And that's the game they got sued for. Because on the box... It had chess, a chess piece, and they didn't have a chess game, so they were sued for false advertising, and the guy won against Atari. Because it's like, you promised me chess, where's my chess? And, it, and they still didn't release it for four years. Chess. Sorry, the, the, it was supposed to come with the base game, is that what you're saying? Or at least be available. Uh, right? And it was not available. Huh? And they had no release date for it either. Huh. And it, what did he get for his his money back? I doesn't I, seem like it doesn't seem like there's a lot of damages there. <laughs> you, the damages seem limited to the the price of the Atari game. You can return it. That's right. You would think. Yeah. It would be low, but they didn't price it against an Atari game. They priced it against. Hey, you shouldn't be false advertising something. But I can't remember what the damage was. Oh, Othello. Yes, I know how to play Othello. So. That's not too bad. So that is 1980. Sorry, for a second I thought, RoboCat, that you were saying that, st that we're still waiting for Othello to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just being cheeky. That would be, uh, <laughs> And you're like, yeah, oh, Othello is still, yeah, no, still, still, still pending coming. from yeah, Atari. Still for it, yeah. It'll be on the, the new VCS. <laughs> Actually, the new Atari. Oh, this cat died. Oh, that's very sad. I'll have to give him a good burial. Um, he's just upside down and <laughs> weird looking. Um, the new Atari is just recently put out cartridges that work in the Atari 2600. And they are prototypes of games that never got finished. Kind of cool. Uh, they're really expensive. Uh, they're like collector versions. They're really, really expensive. So they're collector versions, really expensive collector versions of games that aren't done? That weren't done in the past. Oh, but they finished them. And they now. finished them ah, off and okay. released them. Kind of cool if they were cheaper, but they're not cheap. They're really expensive, so they're deemed collector's items. Good After Dark, even though it's not by me. Well, <laughs> not by you. Oh, not dark where you are, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not uh, dark here either. I mean, it is. It's super dark. Oh, phew, look at it's the hard wall. To see. It's so dark. It's so dark. It does look dark, doesn't it? Yeah. On the stream. So thanks for hanging out with us yet again. Uh, Dan ABC, RoboCat, 2084 Nostalgic, Dave, Mike Latow, Ad Patres, Ad Patres, RC70, Nostalgic, Charles Reese, Vitoko, any other names, any other names, uh, Meaty Spag, or is that old? No, no, no. That's still new. Uh, anybody else? Chatty chats. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, Jakuk Zero said meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's it for the people in After Dark, unless somebody said hi. Oh, you're very welcome, Vitoko. It is going to be a lot of fun going through all these old games and yeah, just yeah, it was testing really fun. them out. Yeah. Um, it's going to be some games in the future that get really complex that I will not be able to play very well. I'll have to research like Space Shuttle 
because it comes with an overlay that goes oh, over yeah, yeah. top of your 2600 and all the controls like do different things. And you print them out, print it out, make the overlay print out. I probably will for that mm -hmm. because that'll be much more interesting rather than just doing weird joystick controls and just dying all, all the time. Uh, you're very welcome. And oh, Atari 800 XL rules. You're very welcome. So um, we'll be back maybe this weekend for another After Dark if I get it all put together. Probably be Sunday late night, if anything. Um, there's also another After Dark coming soon-ish that is for... Where is it? Right here. Pressure Gauge as part of the 2600 High Score Showdown. Uh, we're also going to be playing Uzi the Goo Gaiden uh, for the 7800 and Jax or better because Uzi the Goo is now in release candidate. Might even be finished by then. Um, and of course on Tuesday we have the exclusive world premiere of two Jaguar games, Chaos Engine and Gods, two Bitmap Brothers. Yeah, definitely check out Orbital War. Um, really cool two-player game. Challenging with one player, yep. but it can be done. Uh, and uh, yeah, so day three, 1981. We're going to be able to do all of 1981 still. And that's probably Sunday. And if it's not Sunday, it'll probably be Tuesday. Some busy Monday. So it's either Sunday or Tuesday. Um, I predict that at the end of the marathon, it's going to be a marathon <laughs> on the last day on September 11th. Trying to get them done? Yeah. Because unless I speed it up and do it like four times a week, it's going to be a, a marathon at the end. Because there's going to be some time where I'm away for a week and a half. So that's going to be worse. Um, but that's okay. We'll do the last day as a marathon. September 11th is the date that it was released on in 1977. So why not go out with a bang and yeah. do a huge like six eight hour show or whatever and just get the rest done and play till we're done start in the morning go nuts all day um and the beginning of before dark the beginning of before dark yes that's right <laughs> um so we're done the cats will get fed they're going to be really happy you hungry hungies that's the magical word hungies Yes, you are looking at me. <laughs> um, so He's trying to assess how serious you are about uh, finally feeding him. <laughs> Pretty serious. Yeah, he's Pretty gonna serious. do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Um, so we'll be back I'm on, on side, Sunday or Tuesday. So watch out for that. Check the schedule as per usual, and uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Say bye, Dars. Bye, Dars. Bye, bye.